A shocking 911 call is played in the trial of a Princeton graduate accused of shooting his wealthy banker father in the head. On the phone is the victim's wife. He's been shot. He's been shot? Yes. Then she drops the bombshell. By whom? My son who is nuts, but I didn't know he was this nuts. The trial of Thomas Gilbert Jr. is underway here in Manhattan. Now, during the first day of testimony, jurors listened to Shelly Gilbert describe finding her husband, Thomas Gilbert, on the floor of the master bedroom at their luxurious apartment. My husband is, I think, dead. Please rush. He's not breathing. I don't think so. I can't get a pulse. The operator instructs her how to do chest compressions. I'm pressing down. I've been watching emergency shows like hospital shows. Shelly Gilbert was surrounded by reporters today as she left court. She said the testimony left her emotionally drained. No family should ever have to go through this. Her son once looked like the ultimate preppy. Today he looks bedraggled with a scraggly beard. The killing took place when Gilbert made a surprise visit to his parents' apartment, apparently upset that his $1,000 a week allowance was being cut to $300. He has frequently been described as a spoiled brat, a question I asked when I sat down with his former girlfriend, Anna Rothschild. Would you consider him a spoiled brat? He was not spoiled. He was very down to earth. It wasn't like, you know, he was working at the office every day, no. you know, putting in a lot of hours. No. So, so I guess, you know, what was he doing? Going to the gym. Now a grieving mom faces the loss of her husband and the trial of her wayward son. Prosecutors say it was a planned and calculated murder. The defense says the suspect is mentally ill. Gilbert faces up to life in prison if convicted.